A tragic day in the corridors of Parliament and the close-knit communities of the Tiwi Islands alike, both mourning a colleague, a leader and a friend who rose to the formidable challenge of representing thousands of disadvantaged Australians in one of the Territory's sprawling bush seats. His election in a 2016 Labor landslide was only the latest chapter in a lifetime spent improving the lot of his people, especially those from the Tiwi Islands he called home. He spent decades working to improve conditions in remote communities, including through ATSIC and local governments. His sudden death in his early 50s yesterday has prompted an outpouring of grief from across the political spectrum. The Chief Minister released a tribute, saying he was the member for Arafura, but more than that, he was a husband, a father, a grandfather, a leader in the community and a friend to many. He was our friend. We're shocked and saddened and we'll miss him greatly. The opposition leader offered her sincerest condolences to the late member's wife, family, friends and the people of Arafura who are grieving. He was re-elected in 2020 and spent the remaining years of his parliamentary career on the Territory Labor backbench, but he quickly became known for representing everyone across his sprawling electorate. He's survived by his wife Ebony, children and grandchildren, who along with many of his constituents are in mourning today. Jesse Thompson, ABC News.